Hello. Welcome back to another Squadcaster. How are you? Yay, I'm good, man. How was, are you? Was that, was that a high five? It was a, it was a digital high five. You know, I'll you. take it. I'll take it at this point. How, yeah. how, how are we doing today? We are doing good. Um, it's stupidly grateful to, to be here, not only on Pixel Game Squad, but in general. I've actually loved on your, on the Instagram, there's a lot of really uh, great messaging that I think you guys have been putting out that's been really cool, just of like, cool. hey, make the most of today and all of that. So I, I, good. I'm loving what you guys are putting out. Well, that, that is good to hear more. And you know, you said, how are we doing? So I think that is our segue. Ah! To, uh, the first part of the topic today is, uh, and you kind no, of- No, 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 no. Dude, that game room right now in your on your house is looking beautiful. The man Thank cave you, right man. now. Look at it. Look at the switch kiosk. It's it's stunning. I mean, it, it, it that's that's the stuff arcade dreams are made of, right? Thanks, there. man. I appreciate it. You know, and this is the most I've ever enjoyed. I've had so many iterations of a game room, arcade, yeah. different things. This has been my favorite iteration of what my game Dude, room has been. Your your lighting choices are great, and it's just super clean looking. Thanks, I, I love appreciate it. that. Thank yeah. you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, uh, the question at hand though today uh, is why is the Wii so popular right now? And there's a lot of different avenues uh, as far as reselling yeah. and collecting and all that jazz. And you kind of brought it up, so I kind of wanted you to dive into it. But uh, what well, I loved, uh, you turned me on to Chase the Right Price's channel, and I've been enjoying his content a lot, and I enjoyed your interview with him. Cool thing. But you. one of the things that he's been mentioning on his channel, if you're watching, is Wii consoles on Amazon in specific are selling for. A hundred and fifty dollars yeah. and up, like like crazy money, ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so I um, I buy a lot and I sell a lot. Um, I wouldn't say I resell at the level that someone like Chase does. It's not my my full time job uh, or anything. But I am noticing this crazy trend as well, where we stuff it's you put it up and it's gone really really fast. Yeah. And it, like strangely so. And so I kind of started to think, like, why is this the case? And I think there's a couple of reasons specifically. One is, I, you tell me uh, what you think about this, but I think that the Nintendo Wii is the last truly collectible console. Um, I don't think that's why it's selling so much right now, but I think that's an interesting thing about it. And here's why I think that. Tell me. The Wii is the last collectible console because... It is the last console that um, didn't totally depend on the internet for its games. Got it. So That's what you're saying. when you put a game in the Wii, it's there. It's done. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to download updates, except for a yeah. few um, exceptions. Like the right. Skyward Sword is that way. Yeah. Uh, but even then, they were like, most gamers aren't having this issue. But here's an update in case you are. And uh, it was sort of, I don't know, sort of it's a random thing. Isn't it such a beautiful thing? And it's something we take for granted when we put in a game and you get to play it. And the Wii, like you said, it feels, it's not next generation, but it doesn't feel, I guess, per se, super retro. Right. But it's nice to have that feeling of like, okay, it doesn't feel super retro, but you still get that feeling of like, ah, oh, like you said, you just kind of get to put it in and you get to play. Well, because that's something I take for granted so much because there is nights where, you know, I'm texting some of the guys, I'm like, dude, let's play this game. And 45 minute estimated to the four hour download time. I'm like, cool. So frustrating. I was, yeah. I, I love the new um, Call of Duty, the multiplayer in particular. Yeah. It got me kind of back into that world. Got it. And um, there are some days where I get home from work and be like, oh, I'm, I'm really stoked to play the game. And I would still have my, my Xbox on automatic updates. And, you know, I'd get home and it'd be like two hours left. I'm like, D what the heck? So on the one hand, it's great because I can stay updated and get new content and it makes the games more playable. Got and it. you think of your investment as a gamer, 60 bucks, and then you get a game that's constantly being worked on. Yeah. That's, you, as gamers, we are getting a great deal. Yeah. Um, but the Wii specifically, um, you know, I love that you can just pop in the game and it's good to go. Um, whereas any new game today for Switch, for anything, you put it in and there's always an update. I mean, yeah. even limited run games, they were like, this is physical, everything's in the cart. Even a bunch of their games, you have yeah. to download an update to play. Yeah. I think uh, for me, from what I've seen people too that talk about the Wii being so popular, 
is just from other channels too, we mentioned Chase and talking to guys like you, is uh, it seems the Wiimote is highly desired, very easy to sell. Um, I know when I talked to Chase, I mentioned people messaging me who aren't gamers asking if I have any Wiimotes lying around. And since then I've had like four people as well, again, non-gamers say, hey, do you have any Wiimotes? And to me, it like almost makes me chuckle because I'm like, it's crazy how these people have never talked to me in my life about video games. Yeah. And all of a sudden, everyone's like, you got any Wii motes lying around? Any Wii stuff I can borrow? Well, when did you start getting those kinds of questions? Quarantine. Quarantine, right? Quarantine. And what's been taken away from us during quarantine? It's been being everything. physically active <laughs> yeah. for a lot of people. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah everything. Um, but uh, what, how old were, when you started, um, by the way, I am absolutely loving your guys rewatches of the old episode. Oh, thank you. We have uh, so much fun doing it, dude. No, you could tell. And the, and the videos are great. Um, but uh, around that time, what were you primarily trying to collect? When? When you started the NES Pursuit. NES games. NES games, right? It's yeah. in the title. Yeah. So you're trying to, to collect, why were you trying to collect NES games? Nostalgia. And how old were you when you started that whole thing, roughly? Oh gosh, what was that? I started the NES Pursuit eight years ago. Okay, so early 20s? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, early uh, 20s. So now, the Wii came out in what year? 10-ish years ago? 10-ish years ago? I no, think, was it was longer. It? 15 years ago, I think. Oh boy, that, that makes me feel old. I already feel old. <laughs> I think like 2005 or two or something okay. like that. I, I could be wrong, well, but 15 years out. ago, let's say, let's say you're a kid. Let's say that you are eight years old and you're loving your Nintendo Wii and you're now at the age where you've got that discretionary income. Got it. Uh, so it's crazy to think that people who are collecting for the Wii and paying all this, they're buying their childhood memories now that for us is like that was not my childhood so i i think that it's the the we is what the nes was to you and i when we started getting into this and that makes a lot of sense and by the way it was 2006. <laughs> so that's when the we came out 14 yeah, man, years it, ago the we i know people have gone back and forth and those videos have been done to death about how it's like underrated and there's hidden gems and sure. different things like that but i don't know i've always i i never felt what a lot of core gamers or true gamers did when they were like the Wii isn't for like real gamers you know it's not like the <laughs> sure. hardcore gamers I never felt that like embarrassment or like yeah. too cool or I'm not a real edgy gamer I don't know I always kind of embraced the Wii yeah uh I I loved it uh yeah. you know I I think I had more fulfilling game experiences on the Xbox 360 yeah. and the PS3 like yeah. Bioshock and you know, Xbox 360 on, on. for me out of those two, but yeah. For sure. Uh, I thought you loved the PS3. Isn't that your favorite console of all time? It's something? my least favorite console of all time. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell everybody, you know, yeah. But the Wii was so widespread and so popular, just like the NES was. Yeah. And now everyone, I think, wants to go back and collect. And yeah. it's a great system to collect for. Yeah. There's so much garbage on that system, but there are legitimately fun games to play. Collecting for the Wii is interesting too because there is so much and there's so many garbage games, but yeah. there's also with with there being that many games and it not being like a retro retro console where, where we, we've heard of every NES game, there's still Wii games when I see them where I'm like, I've never heard of this. Like, is this, yeah. could it be rare? Could it, could it be another hidden gem that every, you know, everyone talks yeah. about? But it's like, I'm still discovering even when I go to thrift stores, games that I'm like, I've never heard of this Wii game. Yeah. Well, I, I've been to the swap meet now a few times where they'll just be stacks of Wii games for $3 each. Yeah. And I, I would wonder to myself, I wonder if someone were watching, you know, this on the NES Pursuit or whatever game chasing channel they like, if they would watch this and then go, man, Wii games were three bucks back then. I can't believe it. And yeah. I think that's where we are yeah. because those kids that were 10, 12 years old are now, you know, uh, 26 now yep. and they can go buy a stack of Wii games and relive their childhood yeah. which for me was reliving my early 20s <laughs> so yep. that's what's crazy your, what's your favorite Wii game of all time oh you know what this is going to be a dumb answer Wait, isn't well, it like a sports one yeah Mar Mario Super Sluggers on okay, the Wii so I already knew that so besides that honestly Wii Sports I, I know that that's a cheap Great answer game dude I, I still think the tennis game and the baseball game on that are super fun um, I'd have to go with bowling, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, of course. Bowling. You know, yeah. I, I think that 
I, those games are fun because it's couch multiplayer and it, it beg it like they're best enjoyed with other people in the room. And that to me is the best thing about video games is when you have that social element that's like right there. Got it. Um, but you know, I think those games are great. I mean, all of the first party Nintendo titles, I like that what they tried. I like, I was playing Wario where I think it was Shake It the other day. Yeah, I love that game. The graphics are awesome, you yeah. know. And well, they are awesome graphics. They're very cool. Yeah, completely. Yeah, the Wii, uh, for me, I, again, it will go with the cheese ball answers. Yes, there's all the hidden gems that I love, but I yeah. love just just Mario Wii. I don't even remember. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Whatever. Oh, yeah. I can't even yeah. know. I, I love that Mario game to death. Yeah, it's great. And it's so well made. And, uh, yeah. you know, you've seen it continually be remade uh, to death, really, on, on the Wii U and the Switch. Yeah. Um, even though it's not remade, uh, but yeah. I'm trying to look behind me now at my Wii games. I threw up some um, a Wii commercial to give us some uh, yeah excitement for now. We oh. would like to play. Oh man, no! I and, mean, there's just I love the shooting games too. Um, Ghost oh, Squad, yeah, great. Um, the on rail shooters was a natural yes, fit. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I I still am shocked though that they never made. I mentioned this in one of our pickups videos, like a softball game where you would toss the ball and swing yeah. i thought that was just a huge missed yeah. opportunity but i'm also i think that's pretty niche as well so i get it yeah and also i love the color variants i love the red i love the blue i think yeah even even just the solid black on it for some reason has a little i feel like a little more shine than a lot of black yeah. consoles get as far as the, the actual material i guess you want to call it and i just love the glossy look of it i don't know i think it's a, a cool console at all and i I don't know. I guess I can say I've never had any Wii complaints. So, oh, yeah. Look at that well, you right know, there. How can you know what's this? crazy? What's that? I said, how can you beat this? Look at this commercial. No, it's really cool. Um, <laughs> no, I, I loved Red Steel 2. I love. Oh, yeah. Uh, no More know, Heroes. No More Heroes. Uh, I, I actually didn't really get into No More Heroes, uh, but I, yeah, I appreciated that the Wii would have games that would range the whole sort yeah. of span of stuff that was there. Um, there's also. Uh, there's just a lot of good stuff. I'm like thinking of, and even that Tony Hawk game they just showed, I thought was was pretty fun. So I don't know. It, and isn't it strange how something so simple, that little sort of box that's their console that's the size of like three DVDs, yeah, it's it's an iconic image. Like when someone Absolutely. sees that, they know exactly what it is. Absolutely. Or even the remote. There's something even in its design that's just so basic and simple. Oh, and so, I, zoom, I zoomed in too far. <laughs> there it is. Oh, hey, that's that's the uh, the non-internet, non-component cable Wii. Oh, look at mm. that look, though. I don't it's know, like, man. That one looks like a Fisher Price toy. But that's I don't care. I love it, man. It just looks <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know. I like that a lot. It's uh, I don't know. It's uh, it looks like lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I don't know. In twenty five years though, or fifteen years from now. Are people going to be going, man, I really want to get that PS4 game, but will the servers be shut down and you can't download the updates anymore? We're in such a weird place with video yeah. games, the movement, which, by the way, I'm loving uh, this generation's mm -hmm. console wars because I think I'm having more fun picking a side, even though I like both sides. Yeah, I feel like I'm having it. It makes it more fun for me when I'm like xbox series x man like nah the playstation 5 is whack even though i don't necessarily <laughs> believe that i feel like i'm getting to to relive some sort of genesis versus nintendo super nintendo do you think that console wars is a thing that our generation of gamers is into but the current generation doesn't really care like i don't, you don't know i wonder that like we grew up on nintendo versus sega huge but uh, I don't know if like Sony versus Microsoft versus Nintendo is the thing that people actually think about. Nintendo like made its own camp somewhere and they're like, yep. you guys fight. We're just going to keep doing yeah. all this awesome stuff. I don't know how they, they managed to put themselves in that place, but it worked. Yes. And they're there it, and they're like in their own little entity. It's like, well, we're Nintendo. So you, Sony versus Play or Xbox, you guys figure that out. No, I, and this has been said to death too, but there is just a certain magic around their games Absolutely. that other developers just haven't touched. But I will say on the PS4, um, God of War and Spider-Man Spider were I think, yeah. two games that are like an absolute pinnacle of so, fun so, so, all right, Mort, pick a side. Pick a side? You have to pick a side. Xbox or Sony for next generation? Oh, I pick, for next gen? For, ne oh. for Xbox Series X versus PS5. What are you picking? Uh, oh, easily PS5. And the reason why... <laughs> easily. <laughs> Not even a question. Because uh, 
everything that I can play on the P on the Xbox Series X, um, there's nothing on it that's exclusive, except or for it is, but not that yeah, you I'm, care about. Well, there. What's exclusive on it? Gears of Wars, Halos. Yeah, but those are going to also be on PC, like technically. So, is that maybe, a really exclusive? Maybe, but who knows? Who everyone? It's it's one of those times where we're in our life where it's like, okay, you would think they're going to bring something that's like, we got this. You know what I mean? But you think you look at like the PS um, five or the PS four rather, and like they tried some really experimental stuff that I think really paid off. Concrete Genie um, is got a it. weird game. They did a lot with the VR, even though. It, I don't know people who regularly wear VR and play VR outside of John Riggs and a few others. I was just about to say that. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but amongst my friends, like you guys and everyone yeah. else, I don't know anyone who's like, Oh sweet. Let's play VR today. Most people don't, but they still support it constantly. There's still lots of games coming out for it. So you, you picked PS4 for this generation as well. Oh, that's tough. I love the power of the Xbox one X and how good everything looks and plays yeah. and that every game on that system out class. So for third party Xbox One X always, for but I still I mean as far as just wow that was an amazing game, I don't know Halo and Gears of War versus God of War and Superman of or course. sorry Spider Man, uh, Spider Man's story and art direction, well, God of War's everything, uh, yeah. just well, like on another level. Here's the thing for me, so the reason I I think when when I really have to dive back and think like why am I choosing Xbox over PS over Sony why have I always chosen you know Xbox 360 over PS3 yeah um I don't think that I necessarily care for either side's exclusives per se not that I don't like them but I don't like God of War per se enough to pick it over or I don't like Halo enough to pick it over which means at that point I'm pretty much shooting for specs at this point like, yeah. okay, if I'm going to get 4K and I'm going to get, you know, HDR TV, which one am I go with? Either way, I kind of just want to play all the games that I really desire to play are on both consoles. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So right. I'm like, well, I just have always kind of picked Xbox over. So, and now I just like being on it because I like to pick sides and get a little stir going. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. I mean, certainly 360 versus PS3, I'll go 360. I mean, the, the games on that console are much more friendly to... I think American audiences that like shooters and that yeah. kind of a thing. Yeah. But, um, you know, PS3, I still have Simpsons Arcade downloaded on my PS3 and Simpsons a bunch Arcade of other is fun great. stuff. Isn't it? I mean, that's, that's what you I'm, know. That, that game is perfect. Hey, yo. You, you need to come up with a new catchphrase while we're talking, by the way. You know, well, we got to get Gabble here to figure out a catchphrase. You guys are dragging happiness through the mud a little bit. You got yeah. to up your yeah. catchphrase game. All right, Gabbo, Gabbo, it's Gabbo I know you're watching. You got to get a new one going. He, he tried. He tried a new one the other day and he said it to me and I was like, it just didn't work. So he'll come up with a new one though. He's got it. Well, hey, I, I got to bring something up to you I, to close out this video. Uh, uh, unless, did you want to keep filming for a little while more here? No, you go ahead. You can close it out. We got another one to film too. So we're, okay. we're good. All right. So speaking of, I appreciate how much you've been being a positive influence during all this. Um, I, I've, one of the things that I've been trying to do is... Uh, give away cool stuff Got and it. so i wanted to do that i want to give away something right now to our audience to our audience awesome so I've, I've given away a lot of games to a lot of our friends gabo has yeah. gotten a couple of things from me you've gotten yeah, some stuff plenty uh Pac, uh uh ricky got uh something from me that i'm excited to, to talk about at another time Crazy, uh, by the way and uh well so i recently had a birthday i got older and Woo! it was a a milestone birthday. I just turned 40, if you can believe oh, it. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm old. Uh, but my my wife, who exists at a level far beyond comprehension, yep. did the coolest thing. She contacted a bunch of people in our circle, including you, and said, hey, I want to get Christopher some stuff that is about gaming and everything. So um, we had a friend who's um, a designer, a graphic designer. He used to design stuff for the band that I used to be in awesome guy he made a bunch of shirts and this is one of them and um i just love this shirt it says did somebody say retro did somebody say retro he made a few other ones but this is an xl if you want this shirt uh i'm gonna give away one of these shirts uh right now or if you are collecting video games Ooh, this is this is nice mort do you, Mort the well, giver the, these ones, these ones, I actually were a gift to me, and I want to give. I mentioned this on the last pickups video. Our yeah. friend from Warner Brothers, 
But I'm going to give away these 360 games as well. Sweet, uh, dude. So we're going to start these. I'm going to ship them to you. Um, and I'm going to do these kind of one day at a time, kind of a Mondays with more giveaway kind of Sweet. a thing. You so want to like enter in the comments. What do you want them to do? So I want people to share with us um, a, a Wii game that they love. Cool. Um, that maybe is a little off the beaten path. And okay. so tell us why you love it. Is it because of um, your, a specific memory with it? Or is it because of a time in your life or right. anything like that? The best story. I'll take my favorite too and uh, we'll give away. And don't worry, there's a lot more to give away. So where should they, when they post these, where sh what should they hashtag so you can find them? Uh, hashtag, uh, <laughs> Mort Monday? How about Mondays? Mort Monday? Yeah, Mort Monday. Uh, okay, singular. so Mort Mondays. Oh, yeah, okay, that's plural. Mort Mondays. Hashtag Mort hashtag Mondays. Mort Mondays. You heard that, so he can find you. And then uh, we'll pick the answers, and then um, I'm going to have Mikey or, or you get in, in touch. We'll get addresses. Yeah. We'll send this away. But give stuff away. It's a good time. Mort the Mary. That's kind I, of. I couldn't think of a word for giver that starts with an M. Uh, how about Riff the Ridiculous? That's definitely true. <laughs> this is the story of my life. Uh, Mort, we have another video to film, so why don't we uh, kick this one out and then pick up another one in a minute? Thanks for having me, man. All right, thanks, you guys. Appreciate you watching again. Hashtag Mort Mondays somewhere on the internet so we can find you. All right, we're out.